everybody and welcome to another virtual story time. My name is Miss Allison and I work at the Northeast Regional Library. Before we get started, I do want to mention something really cool we've been doing with our virtual story times called virtual bookshelves. Be sure to go to www.lfpl.org kids to check out our virtual interactive bookshelves that go along with every one of our virtual story times with lots of activities and videos you can do from home. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and sing our hello song. It goes like this. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? I'm doing great, I hope you are too. Now we're going to read Gorilla Loves Vanilla by Shea Strathy and Nicola O'Byrne. All right. Oh, look, rainbow sprinkles for our ice cream. Oh. Here's the title page, Gorilla Loves Vanilla. If you take a walk down Jelly Bean Street, there's a wonderful place you can go for a treat. A fabulous store full of yummy ice cream, the kind of ice cream that makes everyone beam. Little Sam Sunday is known as the king of cones and wafers and flavors that zing. And one sunny day as Sam opened the store, five hungry animals dashed through the door. I wonder what kind of ice cream they're going to want. First in line was a mouse who squeaked. Please, may I have a sundae that tastes of blue cheese? Now, that might sound scrumptious to gray little mice, but none of the others thought cheese ice was nice. It sounded quite stinky, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up cheesy ice cream in a wink. Next to step up was a sea captain's cat with whiskery cheeks and a white sailor's hat. My favorite, he said, is a sailing cat's wish. Bring me fish finger ice cream in a dish. It sounded quite yucky, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up fishy ice cream in a wink. The chicken said, I'll have a comb full of worms. I like nothing more than an ice cream that squirms. It's funny the way that it wrinkles and jiggles. It tickles my beak and it gives me the giggles. <laughs> it sounded too squirmy, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up wormy ice cream in a wink. The flavor the cow chose was daisies and grass sprinkled with dandelions in a tall glass. It's simply amazing, she gleefully cheered, but all of her friends thought her flavor was weird. It sounded revolting, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up daisy ice cream in a wink. The hippo stumped with a thump and a thud and asked for a cone filled with mountains of mud. That's right. I don't want to eat it, he said with a laugh. What do you think the hippo's going to do? That's right. I'm going to jump in and have a nice bath. It sounded quite messy, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up muddy ice cream in a week. The animals sang, little Sam, you're the best. You've managed to rustle up every request. Then came a voice calling, What about mine? A gorilla was there at the end of the line. Well, do you remember the title of the book, Gorilla Loves Vanilla? I wonder what kind of ice cream gorilla is going to ask for. I don't want fish fingers or worms as a filler. Just give me a cone of Good old vanilla. The others agreed that they'd been all too hasty. None of their flavors seemed nearly as tasty. Oh, look at that. 
Sam served it a cone that was everyone's dream. Scoop upon scoop of amazing ice cream. He topped it with sprinkles. The sticky fudge sauce made them all lick their lips and milk chocolate chips. The animals gasped. They couldn't help staring and lucky for them. Gorillas love sharing. Oh, and they're all eating that ice cream. It looks so tasty. The end. All right, we're going to do a quick, fun song about ice cream. So I've got an ice cream cone with me and our rhyme goes like this. I love ice cream, yes I do. One scoop for me? No, better make it two. Two scoops of ice cream. I want more. Three scoops for me? Nah, better make it four. Two, three, four. It's on the floor. Now we're going to read Groovy Joe Ice Cream and Dinosaurs. This book was written by Eric Litwin and illustrated by Tom Lichenheld. Here's the title page Groovy Joe Ice Cream and Dinosaurs by Eric Litwin illustrated by Tom Lichenheld. Groovy Joe saw something yummy. Oh, look, it's Hagen Dog's doggy ice cream. It's doggone good. Groovy Joe started rubbing his tummy. Oh. Groovy Joe was living the dream. He had a spoon and a tub of ice cream. And he started to sing. I love my doggy ice cream. I love my doggy ice cream. I love my doggy ice cream. Roar! Oh no! A little dinosaur stomped into the room. He glared at the ice cream and took out a spoon. He put on a bib. He pulled up a chair. What did Joe say? Hmm. It's awesome to share. Oh, they're going to eat ice cream together, my favorite. And everyone sang. I love my doggy ice cream. I love my doggy ice cream. I love my doggy ice cream. Roar! Oh no! A big dinosaur burst into the room. He glared at the ice cream and took out a what do you think it's going to be? Spoon. He put on a bib. He pulled up a chair. What did Joe say? It's awesome to share. And everyone sing. Sing with me at home. One, two, Love my doggy ice cream. I love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Roar! Oh no! A huge dinosaur smashed into the room. She glared at the ice cream and took out a spoon. She put on a bib. She pulled up a chair. What did Joe say? It's 
awesome to share. And everyone sang. Love my doggy ice cream. I love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Roar! Oh no! The tub was empty. The ice cream was through. So the dinosaurs glared at you know who. What can Joe do? Do you have any guesses at home? Ooh, Joe could do that. Let's turn the page and see what happens. He turned over the tub and made it a drum. Groovy Joe beat out a rumma tum tum. The dinosaurs laughed. <laughs> they rose from their chairs. They started to dance. They jumped in the air. Can you jump? Woo! Then what did they say? It's awesome to share. And everyone sang together. Love my doggy ice cream. 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 The end. Let's go to the kitchen where we can make our own Groovy Joe dog ice cream. Okay, everybody, now we are in the kitchen for Groovy Joe's doggy ice cream recipe. Now, if you haven't guessed, ice cream is one of my legit favorite things in the whole world, but I also really have a soft spot for dogs. So if you want to get a recipe for people ice cream, check out our interactive bookshelves. There should be some there as well. But for today, we're making ice cream for dogs. So this one is the most simple one that I could find. It only has three ingredients. So the first one is ripe bananas. You can tell that they're a little bit more ripe. These bananas could be a teensy bit more ripe, but you can see that there's some brown on them and less green. You wanna get peanut butter that is all natural or doesn't have the ingredient xylitol. Xylitol can be really bad for dogs and make them sick, so we don't wanna do that. Then you wanna get some plain yogurt. Greek yogurt is really great. It does not really have any added sugar in it and you don't wanna get any yogurt that's gonna have added sugar because your doggies just don't need it. So I went ahead and got two bananas and mashed them up a bit. So I'm gonna mash it just a little bit more. And when you mash bananas or any sort of these ingredients, these are a really great thing for you to do with your kids because um, their textures are really fun. And we're using just a fork right here. And feel free to get messy, it's totally fine. All right, so that's mashed up pretty well. You wanna get a half cup of peanut butter. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. Now I've got a spatula right here. These measuring cups are for solid ingredients. Wet ingredients has a spout on it. All right, you wanna add that to your mixture. And like I said, you can get super messy with this. All right, we're gonna set that aside. And then we wanna grab our yogurt. Now, since this yogurt is going to be used for my doggy, I'm not gonna worry about cleaning this. However, if you are using yogurt and any other recipes at home, go ahead and clean off your spatula. So it's gonna be two cups of yogurt. Yeah. 
All right, once you have all of your ingredients in your bowl, you can use the fork or the spatula to mix it together. So let's get mixing. And there's a song you can sing while you mix. Do you like ice cream? Do you like it in a bowl? Do you like to eat it fast? You can mix it really fast. Do you like to eat it slow? Do you like it with some syrup, with some sprinkles or some nuts? Do you like ice cream? All right. I would say that that is mixed up pretty well. So this is a silicone ice tray and we're just going to take this, like I said, very messy, but texture is a great thing for kids to explore with because it helps them learn their environment. So I'm just going to scoop into each of these ice trays. And I like this silicone ice tray because when you want to get the doggy ice cream treats out, you can just pop them out super easily. But you can use a regular ice, or ice tray. That's no big deal. All right, so now you have some ready to freeze dog ice cream already made up right here. Again, it's a little bit messy, but we can clean up our mess here in just a little bit. Um, you want to put this in the freezer for at least two to four hours, but you can also freeze it overnight. That way it's nice and frozen up. And then you can just pop them out and feed them to your dog. There are lots of different dog treat or ice cream recipes out there. So double check with your grown up that the ingredients that you're using are going to be safe for your pets. So I think I have a few taste testers in mind for this ice cream once it's good and frozen. those dogs cute? Now we're going to read The Little Ice Cream Truck. This is another book that you can sing with and singing is actually a really great early literacy tip because its repetitive nature is really helpful for helping kids grasp concepts and rhymes and repetition. So here we go. The Little Ice Cream Truck by Marjorie Coiler illustrated by Bob Kolar. Oh, look at all that ice cream. Ice cream is my favorite thing. The little ice cream truck. I'm a little ice cream truck. My driver's name is Lou. Ding-a-ling, ding-a-ling, we're headed to the zoo. I'm a little ice cream truck. Lou plays a jingly tune. Pop goes the weasel, I see a red balloon. I'm a little ice cream truck, Lou drives me to the park. Boys and girls come running, the dogs begin to bark. Arf, arf, arf. I'm a little ice cream truck, the kids start lining up. 
smiling, leaping, shouting, vanilla in a cup. I'm a little ice cream truck with signs on front and rear. Caution, children crossing, look both ways, stay clear. I'm a little ice cream truck, Rose gets a berry crunch. Bob buys a lemon ice, Jose a cookie munch. Oh, those all sound so delicious. I'm a little ice cream truck, we have so many treats. Milkshakes, cones, and bomb pops. Fudge shickles, ices, sweeps. I'm a little ice cream truck. I'm rented for events. Celebrations, birthdays, big parties under tents. I'm a little ice cream truck. We're off to Lilac Lane. Happy birthday, Tony. Let's hope it doesn't rain. I'm a little ice cream truck. The guests are having fun. Licking, laughing, singing, Tony's turning one. Happy birthday. I'm a little ice cream truck. We watch a baseball game. The players take a break, excited that we came. I'm a little ice cream truck. It's just another day. I make the children happy. I love my job. Hooray. The end. Thanks for reading that book with me. Well, we're gonna go ahead and sing our goodbye song. Thank you so much for joining us for another virtual story time today, and we hope to see you all very soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day. Put your arms up and cross your body and squeeze. That is a big air hug from me to you.